The Social Service Workers Program at St. Lawrence College continues their series on suicide prevention. Here's their second segment. Hi, my name is Ashley. I am an SSW student with St. Lawrence College. Um, we're doing a project um, with our community and today I'm here with Stephanie Hemrick from the Seaway Valley Community Health Center. Um, she's a health promoter and so I have a few questions for her in regards to the suicide topic in our area. So um, what is your mandate and the targeted population? Um, so our mandate is, so our target population first off is for Cornwall and SDNG mm -hmm. and we do focus on uh, four target groups. So we do have those without a primary care provider, so people that don't have a doctor or nurse practitioner, yep. um, people who are low income, um, new immigrants, and also uh, people who are older adults, so seniors. Okay. So that's our target population. And our mandate is really to build a healthier community uh, through our healthcare services. So we do have primary care services, so doctors and nurse practitioners. Mm -hmm. um, and we also do um, some more upstream work in terms of prevention, programming, and community development. Awesome. So that probably brings me into my next one. What are the services that you provide um, in regards to suicide? Well, that's a great question. So um, we really look at mental health in a really broader perspective. Mm -hmm. um, so we would recognize that just because someone has, um, you know, good or poor mental health, it doesn't necessarily mean, or good mental health doesn't necessarily mean that there's no mental illness, that the two of them go together. So we're really looking to build that positive mental health with all the services mm -hmm. that we offer. So we have um, some of our programs that we offer are just really to build those social connections with people. Mm -hmm. So people have a place to go, um, whether it's related to their chronic condition. So we have a chronic pain program. Um, we have just a social drop-in. We have an LGBT group, just somewhere where people can belong. Okay. In um, specifics to our LGBT population, that's a, a group that we know has quite high uh, suicidal ideation rates. Yep. So just providing a safe space for them, a place where they feel comfortable, because we know that those rates really decline whenever people have an environment where they feel supported. So those are some of the, su the supports. We also have, for people that might be having maybe those, those more kind of like day-to-day -day issues, we do partner with um, counseling and support services um, f to offer the walk-in um, yeah. at 26 Montreal Road on Thursday. So we do have a staff that goes over there to help with that as well. So okay, people that awesome. are having those more immediate issues. Okay, I really liked how you mentioned that everybody has mental health. Yeah. And it's not everybody who suffers with mental illness, but making sure to nurture that mental health in a positive way. Um, and a lot of those groups are definitely a good start to keeping that up. Um, the last question would be, how do individuals in SDNG and Cornwall area access their services? So all of our services are at no cost. Okay. So you can go on our website and um, you can check out, and I'm sure they'll run it on the bottom of the screen, um, you can check out some of the programs that we're offering. Yeah. Um, you just call, we have, so our number is 613-930-4892 and it's an extension 229. So that's a programs line, so you can call for any of the programs. Awesome. Um, and like I said, there's no cost. A lot of them are just drop-in as well. Like I was mentioning our LGBTQ which is always the first Thursday of the month, as well as our social drop-in, which is the first Thursday of the month. People just pop by, you know, they can kind of see what's going on. So it's a really great opportunity to just meet people, to really build that positive mental health, for people to build connections and really feel like they're belonging mm -hmm. to part of a community. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for uh, coming in today and talking about these services and just in hopes that other people will be able to reach out and access them now that they, they know more about them. So great. Thank you very much for yeah. having me today. What a great initiative. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you to you and your, your students. Thank you.